हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दी डेली मॉर्निंग पॉडकास्ट ऑफ एस बी आई सिक्योरिटीज सो लेट्स डिस्कस हाउ दी मार्केट्स क्लोज ऑन वेंसडे सेंसेक्स क्लोज हाई अब बाई टू सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट्स टू सेटल एट सेवेंटी फोर थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स निफ्टी क्लोज हाई अब बाई सिक्सटी नाइन पॉइंट्स टू सेटल एट ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव नाइन्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट निफ्टी मिड कैप हंड्रेड क्लोज हाई अब बाई पॉइंट वन नाइन परसेंट वेर एज निफ्टी Moving on to the top five gainers and losers on Nifty. So the top five gainers were Cipla, Tata Consumer, HUL, Coal India, and Reliance Industries. Whereas the top five losers were Shiram Finance, Hindalco, Hero Motor Corp, Tata Steel, and BPCL. Now talking about the BSE sector wise, advance and decline. So BSE Reality, FMCG, IT, NG, Capital Goods, Healthcare. Services and telecommunication all advanced from the range of 0.06 percent to 1.41 percent, with reality gaining the most by 1.41 percent. Whereas BSE Financial Services and Metals declined. Moving on to the 52-week high and low, so around 145 stocks scaled new 52-week high. So some of them were Adani Power, BEL, DMART, GRSC, HAL, NCC. IRCTC and talking about the 52 week low around 17 stocks scale new 52 week low moving on to the advances and declines around 1826 stocks advanced whereas 2018 stocks declined talking about the fund flow where DII net bought to the tune of rupees 961.9 crores whereas FII net sold rupees 686 crores in the cash market on Wednesday moving on to the global queues The U.S. markets overnight closed in red, with Dow Jones, Nasdaq, and S&P 500 declining by 0.5%, 0.2%, and 0.3% respectively. Minutes from the Federal Reserve's May meeting raised concerns of persistent inflation that central bank may not cut interest rates soon. The Asian markets are currently trading mixed. We expect a flat to negative opening for our market today. Now, moving on to the companies who declared their quarterly earnings yesterday. So, first is Jubilant Foodworks. Where the console revenue was up 24% YOY, EBITDA and net profit both were up. So EBITDA was up by 24.6% uh, YOY and net profit stood at 208 crores against 29 crores. Margins came in at 19.7% against 19.6%. So good set of numbers overall positive for Jubilant Foodworks. Minda Corporation, the console revenue was up 13.1% YOY, EBITDA was also up by 18.5% YOY. However, net profit was down 42 uh, 42 percent at rupees 71 crores. However, the uh, results posted by Minda Corp were in line, so uh, neutral to positive reaction is expected. Petrol and LNG, the consoled revenue, uh, consoled revenue, EBIT and net profit was down QOQ by 6.5 percent, 35.3 percent, and 37 percent. Margin stood at 8 percent against 11.6 percent. So overall, weak set of numbers. So negative for the company. FSN e-commerce ventures the console revenue was up 28.1% QOQ EBITDA was also up by 32% QOQ uh, however net profit stood at rupees 9 crores again 17 crores so overall um, mixed set of numbers so neutral reaction is expected GMM Fodler the console revenue was down 14.5% YOY to rupees 741 crores EBITDA and net profit were also down by 3.8% and 13.9% to rupees 91 crores and 29 crores Margin stood at 12.3 percent versus 10.9 percent. So overall, weak set of numbers posted by GMM Fodler. So overall, negative for the company. Uh, Garden Rich Shipbuilders. So the console revenue was up 69 percent. Uh, EBITDA stood at 91 percent against 20 crores. Uh, EBITDA stood at rupees 91 crores against 20 crores, and net profit stood at 112 crores versus 55 crores. Margins came in came, uh, came in at 8.9 percent against 3.4 percent. So overall, good set of numbers, positive for the company. HEG so the console revenue was down 11.4% EBITDA and net profit were also down by 65.3% and 67% to YOY margin stood at 7.8% versus 20% so the weak set of numbers negative for the company torrent power the console revenue uh, console revenue was up 8.1% um, YOY to rupees 6529 crores EBITDA was up 1.7% at rupees 1109 crores And net profit was down by 7.6 percent YOY to rupees 447 crores. So overall numbers were uh, lower than the market expectations. So overall negative ex- uh, reaction is expected. 
Gland Pharma. Uh, the console revenue was up 96% at 1,537 crores. EBITDA wa was at 359 crores against 168 crores. Margin stood at 23.3%, versus 21.5%. Net profit was up 2.43 times uh, to rupees 192 crores. However, the numbers seems uh, lower than the market expectation, so therefore neutral to negative reaction is expected. Then we have uh, Ramco Cements, where the console revenue uh, was up 4.1% uh, YOI to rupees 2,678 crores. EBITDA was up 1.8% YOI to rupees 419 crores. Margin stood at 15.6% versus 16% and net profit was down 14.6% at rupees 129 crores. So overall uh, YOI numbers were weaker and uh, QOQ numbers were good. So overall neutral to, uh, neutral to marginal negative reaction is expected. Star Cement, the console revenue was up 10.2% YOI to rupees 914 crores. EBITDA was up 8.2% YOI to rupees 180 crores. However, the margin stood at 19.7% versus 20%. Uh, the net profit were down 8.8% YY to rupees 88 crores. So the numbers seem slightly lower than the market expectation. So uh, marginal negative reaction is expected. Grassim Industries, the console revenue was up 12.7% YY to rupees 37,727 crores. EBITDA and net profit both were up by 28.7% and 15.5%. Margin stood at 20.9% versus 18.3%. So overall good set of numbers dictated by Grassim Industry. So positive for the company. PG Electroplast, the console revenue was up 30% YOI to rupees 1077 crores. EBITDA and net profit both were up by 53.7% and 73.2% at rupees 116 crores and 70, 70 crores. So strong set of numbers dictated by PG Electroplast. So overall positive for the company. Power Grid Corporation, the console revenue was down 2.5% uh, YOI to rupees 11,978 crores. EBITDA uh, was also down by 7.6% at rupees 10,099 crores. And net profit also was down by 3.6% at 4,166 crores. However, the numbers were better than the market expectation, so therefore neutral to marginal positive reaction is expected. Now moving on to the companies who will be declaring their quarterly earnings today. So we have ITC, Intergroup Aviation. Page Industries, Fortis Healthcare, Bayer Crop, CESC, Phenolex Cables, Bikaji, PCBL, uh, Steel Street Wheels, Subros, Sandur, uh, Sandhar Technologies, uh, Tata Investment Corp, Barbecue Nation, Hospitality, Gabriel India and so on. Now moving on to the uh, companies who are likely to be in focus today. So first one we have is FS and e-commerce. So the board has approved the acquisition of the Western wear and accessories business from Nika Fashion. Approved the transfer of 100% stake held in Illuminar Media to Nika Fashion and gave the principal approval for merger of Illuminar Media into Nika Fashion. So overall positive for the company in long term. All Cargo Logistics. The company's arm ECU Worldwide acquired a 25% stake in fair trade for um, Euro 2.9 million. So positive for the company. Jubilant Foodworks, the company approved a further investment of rupees 30 crores in Bangladesh unit. So overall positive for the company in long term. Oil India, the company has signed a new long term definitive agreement for the transportation of additional petroleum products through oil's uh, Numligar Siliguri product pipeline following the commissioning of the Numligar refinery expansion project. So overall positive for the company in long term. Now, uh, today uh, we will have go digit general insurance uh, listing at an issue price of Rs. 272 per share and it is a 2,614.65 uh, crore IPO which was subscribed 9.6 times on its third and final day. Uh, moving on to the uh, block deals where the first we have is Apollo Tires. A uh, white iris investment sold 2.24 crore shares while ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund bought 41.89 lakh shares. Morgan Stanley Asia Singapore PT bought 40.14 lakh shares. Mirai Asset Mutual Fund bought 31.42 lakh shares and among others at Rs. 477 per share. Next we have is Granules India where Krishna Prasad sold 75 lakh shares at Rs. 405.08 per share uh, while the Massachusetts Institute of Technology bought 25.93 lakh shares at Rs. 405.1 per share. Axis Mutual Fund bought 25.26 lakh shares at Rs. 405.1 per share. Fidelity Funds India Focus Fund bought 10.93 lakh shares and among others at Rs. 405 per share. Moving on to the bull deals where we have RT Pharma Labs where Quant Mutual Fund bought 10.51 lakh shares at Rs. 575.83 per share while Baron Emerging Market Fund sold 8.61 lakh shares at Rs. 573 per share. Yeah, so that was all about the um, daily morning podcast. Thank you for listening.
Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.